Welcome everyone. I know it's been a little bit, but I come back to you bringing you gifts. <laughs> As there have been information regarding the actors for season two, I have that information. I also have uh, the information regarding awards that were given at the Horror Awards 2016. Uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead was recognized. And I also have the most important bit of information, which is season two of Ash vs. Evil Dead, the release date. So stick around with me because I'm going to go over that information with you. So if you don't want to be spoiled on anything for season two of Ash vs. Evil Dead, do not go forward. Why have you disturbed us? All right, let's start with the probably the main reason why you're here. You want to know the release date for season two of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Well, I can let you know that it will be Friday, September 23rd, 2016. Now, that is a Friday again. Season one was on a Saturday, which coincided with Halloween. Now, season two, episode two will be on a Friday, and that will be Halloween as well. So I don't know if they specifically uh, planned to do it that way, but I think that's fantastic that they moved the show from Saturday to Friday. I don't know about you guys, but it sucked waiting until Saturday to see my favorite freaking show. So that's a little bit of great news. As far as casting goes, I see that Michelle Hurd, who is from uh, Devious, Mo Devious Maids, I guess that's the show. Anyway, I just remember she's from Hawaii Five-0. <laughs> anyway, she's going to be on the show as Ash's high school sweetheart in season two, which that's fantastic. Uh, they don't give me her name, but I do get that Lee Majors is going to be in season two as Ash's dad. And his name is Brock Williams. <laughs> Brock. That sounds exactly like the name that Ash's dad would have. It sounds conceited, just as he is. <laughs> That's going to be fantastic. Seems like the writers are really sticking true to some form. They really want to give us what we want in this. Now, I think this is the best news out of them all. Ted Raimi has been confirmed to be coming to season two. He is going to play Ash's best friend, Chet Kaminsky. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to Ted Raimi. Out of all of the news that I could bring you guys, personally, I think that this is the best. So I'm really looking forward to seeing Mr. Raimi coming to Ash vs. Evil Dead. Now, I wanted to say something very quickly before I move on to the awards. I saw something online that there are critics out there who are basically saying that Ash vs. Evil Dead ultimately pushes Army of Darkness out of the trilogy. And the show only acknowledges Evil Dead 1 and Evil Dead 2. And I put on here, who cares? Shit don't have to be perfect. <laughs> and that's basically the truth. I, I am a good hardcore fan, but I understand that there's a, a rights conflict with the show versus Army of Darkness. Uh, there's a, there's a for those of you out there who don't know, they can't insert Army of Darkness into the Ash vs. Evil Dead show, something about the, the rights. And I don't want to bother telling you what I think it is because it's possibly wrong. I'll find something online and put a link in the description for you guys to go look at. So let's just say it's like a copyright issue. So what I say is, who cares? So what that they don't acknowledge Army of Darkness? I'm a fan who mostly appreciates the fact that the show is on and that there's something to watch rather than the fact of, oh, well, they didn't put in Army of Darkness into the show or, or, or they don't include it in any way. Oh, my God, let's, let's bitch about it. No, I am so happy that the show is on. It does not bother me at all. So from a fan, them ousting Army of Darkness from the script and storyline for the show does not bother me. Who cares? Shit don't have to be perfect. <laughs> so we want to give a big uh, congratulations to Bruce Campbell. He won Best Actor in a Horror Series. And the show itself won Best Horror Series at the Horror Awards 2016. So congratulations to you all. And guys, I want to thank you very much for being patient for my videos. I had to finish another book and get it out for publication. Uh, if you're curious about it, um, this is the cover. So that's it. 
that's my third book. Um, I'll put a link below if you want to check it out. Usually, uh, if you want to read my books, guys, just send me your email or put it in the comments below and I'll send you a copy of my books. So um, I always like to send them out to people if they want to read them. Anyway, that is my video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As soon as more information comes out, I will have it updated for you. I am... Um, now that I'm done with my book and all this stuff, I have more time to dedicate to Ash. <laughs> and one big promo I want to give you guys. If you have not read it, you need to read um, If Chins Could Kill, Confessions of a B-Grade Actor by Bruce Campbell. It's a, it's a wonderful, hilarious book. I used an envelope right here as my bookmark. But... Um, they give you really good uh, behind the scenes of how Evil Dead came about, the budget, the concept, the actors, the everything. So everything you wanted to know about Bruce, his family, um, growing up, everything about him, and most importantly, how the Evil Dead came about and how they made it, you want to read this book. I have not read Bruce's two other books. Uh, I do intend to go get them. I Honestly, didn't know he put out two other books, but I love this one right here. It is my favorite. My favorite one to read of Bruce. I'll have another book to add to his little menage a trois back there. So that's my video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your patience. I do appreciate it. I will not be putting out another book for this year. So I will be dedicating my time to Ash. Um, if you have any questions about the show, if you have any tips about the show, please send them to me. I don't really care about storyline spoilers and stuff like that. It's That's not my thing. I would rather watch the show and be surprised at the way it naturally is. So I don't care about storyline. I'm talking about writing stuff, um, actors, and, uh, you know, just uh, anything else other than storyline. So thank you guys again very much for watching. If uh, you want to, hit the like button, hit the subscribe to get the other videos. And have a very pleasant evening watching Ash vs. Evil Dead. quick guys I don't mean to cut into the video because you know it's me but I forgot to tell you guys I had the wonderful opportunity to watch season one all over again uh, completely for the entire five hours so there were some things in there um, some issues that were not answered such as Pablo's necklace and his grandfather or his uncle supposedly and Lucy Lawless it seemed like they were all connected and those questions were just never answered so I'm going to do a video on those very awesome questions so if you have questions about the season that you didn't get an answer to post them below and I'll put them in the video I will also post my questions maybe you guys can help me with it possibly I missed something and you guys are also very awesome what, like, I missed the whole thing with the demon child that Pablo spewed at the end of the finale. And I didn't realize where all the little demon ch children were coming from. And you guys were the ones who pointed out to me that, you know, Pablo kept putting them out. It, it wasn't that they multiplied. Pablo kept spitting them. So I depend on you guys to help me with this stuff, too. So I'm going to post my questions and on the video, and I'm going to post your questions. So again, please put them in the comments below. Thank you, guys. Oh, <laughs> my